Good morning, Grade Nine. Today we'll see types of sets from Topic One, Maths Paper One. Topic is sets. In that we are seeing types of sets. Now let us see first a single ten set. Name itself tells you single means what? Only one. A set which contains only one element is called a single a single ten set. For example, if I say A is a set, okay. A is a set which is of even prime numbers. Now you know that even prime number is only one. We have seen in the earlier video, and which is that two. Two is the only even prime number, and therefore this set will contain only one element that is two, and therefore it is an example of singleton set. Let's go quickly to the empty set. Empty set means nothing is there in that set. Please. Uh, make sure that zero is also one of the element. Okay, so if zero is there, then it is not a empty set. Mind well. See, for example, if I have uh, B is a set. Okay, B is a set which contains natural numbers between six and seven. You know what are natural numbers? Natural numbers are one, two, three, and so on. Okay, so four, five, six, and seven. Now between six and seven there is no nothing. Okay, so it is empty. Nothing is there. So we write empty set like this. There is nothing inside the set, and therefore this type of set is called as empty set, or it is also called as null set, and it is denoted by notation or sign symbol phi. This is called as phi phi. Okay, so this is called as phi. So please see that if I write For example, another set and which has an element zero. So this is not a null set. All right, this is not an empty set because it has one element called as zero. Okay, so when absolutely nothing is there inside, then you call it as a null set or empty set. All right. Okay, let us move on to the next now. Third type of set is finite. Finite means what? What do you mean by finite set? Finite means It is a set in which the numbers element number is limited, countable. You can count the number of elements. It is called as finite set. For example, uh, let us take an example. P is a set which contains natural numbers which are less than ten and divisible by two. So natural numbers start with one. So they are less than ten and divisible by two. That means what? Two will be there, four will be there, six will be there, and eight will be there. That's all. Ten I can't write because my condition was they should be less than ten. So these are all natural numbers which are divisible by two. So this P set contains one, two, three, four finite number. Of, I can count them. Finite number of elements. Such a set is called as finite set. You can count the number of elements which are present inside. So elements are limited. Now let us go for infinite. Infinite means what? The elements are not finite. Okay. The number of elements in the set are unlimited. They are uncountable. For example, n is a set of natural numbers. Natural numbers start with one, one, two, three, and then we put like this dot dot. What this this indicates? It goes endlessly. There is no end to the numbers. No, you go on counting. So we can't say how many elements are present in this natural set because there are uncountable or you may say unlimited numbers present in the set, and therefore natural set, set of whole numbers, set of integers, all of these are infinite set. There is no end. We can we cannot count because unlimited numbers are there. Now, last is equal sets. Now, equal sets is regarding two sets. Okay, for example, I am writing a set over here A, and it has elements one, three, six, and there is another set B, okay, which has elements six, three, and one. Now, see, even though the order is different, you know that all the elements present in A are present in B also. Okay, so when all the elements present in one set are present in the other set also, 
we say set A is and set B are equal sets. Okay. So what is the definition of equal sets? How can you say that? Two sets are said to be equal if every element of one set is in the other set. Then we say set A and B are equal. And how we write it? A is equal to B. Okay. So I am repeating again. Two sets A and B. Mind well. Two sets A and B are said to be equal if every element of A if every element of set A is also present in set B and every element of set B is also present in set A. Then we say that set A is equal to set B. So both ways it should be. All these elements are present here and all these elements are also present over here. Then we say that A and B are equal. Otherwise, what will happen? For example, here it is one more seven number. Seven number is there. Now see, all the elements of B are present in A. One, three and six. But all elements of A are not present in B. In that, we can't say that A is equal to B. Are you understanding me? Therefore, say that all the elements of A are present in B. Similarly, all the elements B also should be present in A. Then we say set A is equal to set B or these two are equal sets. I hope the concept is clear. Now uh, let us solve uh, set 1.2 because it was based on this earlier knowledge. So I am just erasing this and we will go for set 2. Set 2.1. Okay. See now. <clears throat> Now see what is the question. Decide which of the following are equal sets and which are not and justify your answer. Now see solve this first. How to read this? A is a set of all x where what is the condition? 3x minus 1 is equal to 2. So let us see what will be the value of 1. Uh, x 3x minus 1 is equal to 2. So 3x will be equal to 2 plus 1. 1 is taken over here. 3x is equal to 3. And therefore, x is equal to 3 upon 3, which comes out to be 1. So, what is value of a we got? So, a, here we got only one value that is 1. That means it is a singleton set. Now, let us see what b is giving. b is a natural number. Sorry. b is a set of all x such that x is a natural number, but x is neither prime nor composite. We All of us know that number which is neither prime nor composite is only 1 and therefore B is also a singleton set and the element of B is 1. Now let us check for C. C is the set of all X such that X is a natural number and X is also less than 1. Now natural numbers start with 1 only, isn't it? And the number which is less than 2 is only 1. So, even C set will contain only one element and that is 1. So, which element is present in A, B and C? 1, 1, 1. All the elements in A are present in B and C. All the elements in B are present in A and C. All the elements in C are also present in B and A. And therefore, we can say all these three sets are equal sets. So, we can write A is equal to B is equal to C. Okay? So, that's why we can write all these three sets are equal. I hope you have understood. Okay. Now, let's go for the next question. Let's quickly go to question second. Now, see second question says decide whether A and B are equal sets. Now, A they have given us even prime number. Even prime number is only 1 and that is 2. So, element present in A is 2. B condition is 7x minus 1 is equal to 13. If you solve this, we get x is equal to 2. So, element present in B is also 2. So, A and B have same element and that is 2. And therefore, A is equal to B. Both the sets are equal. Come to the third question. Which of the following are empty sets and why? Now, see, first they have given, there are three questions. In first, they have asked, A is a natural number smaller than 0. You know that natural numbers start with 1. Natural numbers are starting with 1. 
So n is a set of natural number. It starts with 1, 2 and so on. So number which is less than 0 can't be present in natural number. Alright. So they have said first a is a natural number less than 0. So it can't be there and therefore a will have not a single element and therefore first condition it is an empty set. Now second condition they have given x square is equal to 0. If you take square root you get x is equal to 0. So element which is present here for example b there is one element called as 0 in this and therefore it cannot be an empty set because there should be nothing inside. Here 0 is coming and 0 is element and therefore b is not an empty set while a is an empty set. Now look at the third condition. Condition given is 5x minus 2 is equal to 0. If you solve this, we get x value as 2 upon 5. But it also says that x is a natural number. It is mentioned over there, x is natural number. And 2 upon 5 is not a natural number. And therefore, c is also an empty set because it will not have anything inside. Because what answer we got is 2 upon 5 which is not a natural number. And it says x should be a natural number. So 1, 2 and 3 we have seen. Let us quickly go to the fourth question also. It is very easy. You just have to tell whether the sets are fi infinite or finite. In first case, they say A is all x such that x is less than 10 and it is a natural number. Less than 10 and natural number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9. So finite numbers are there. All less than 10. And therefore, this becomes a finite set. So, your first answer is it is a finite set. Now, second is B is a set of Y such that Y is less than minus 1 and Y is an integer. Now, you know that if it is less than minus 1, then the set would be like this. B set would be like this. Second one I am telling you, it would be like this. So, it is less than minus 1. Alright. So, you are less than minus 1 means minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. So, it doesn't have any end at all. So, if I start from here, less than minus 1 is minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and it will go on. So, here it is infinite set. You can't count the numbers. No, there is no limit. Uncountable elements are present. So, first is finite while a second is in finite set. So remaining problems are omitted from your uh, syllabus as per the reduced syllabus. So that's all for today students. Thank you.